Hello all. So since the last couple of days, I've been posting videos from attackdefense.com and the labs which we've been building. Now people who are signing up for the beta, you are going to get access very soon this month, so hang on tight. Uh, now a very common question I've been getting is that, you know, we've seen terminal-based labs, we've seen your web-based labs. Is it going to be possible that we have access to all our GUI-based tools when we are accessing these labs? So the answer is yes. Now I wanted to save this preview for much later, but due to the sheer number of questions I'm getting inundated with, I thought I'd show you a quick sneak preview. Now the team has been working very, very hard, and this is actually a non-trivial problem to get right. So here is a quick demo. Let me know what you think. So here is Kali in a browser. So we've launched the lab. And what this does is this actually creates a full-blown Kali instance, which we can access through the browser. And from there, we can go ahead and attack the lab as we please. So here it is. It automatically logs you in, totally random URL. Uh, and voila, here is your Kali system, right? Now, what we can additionally do is literally launch any GUI app. So I'm going to go ahead and launch two applications. So one is, of course, let me launch our very favorite MSF console. So let that load. And over here, through this, I'm going to launch Wireshark, right? Which is a pretty heavyweight application, as most of us know. So here it is, Wireshark opening up, giving us the little uh, root prompt. If you notice, Metasploit has already loaded up. Fantastic. And everything is pretty responsive, right? And if you notice, guys, this is entirely over the web. So you will have access to all your tools. The best part really is if while doing the labs, you end up wanting access to, you know, two Kali systems or, you know, two attack systems, we are building other systems different from Kali as well. Then all you'd literally have to do is like launch a new lab. I'll show you at the end. Uh, Along with this, you can even go ahead, change the screen resolution. So we could actually go to preferences, monitor settings, make this a high resolution, 1080p. And this allows you now to basically enjoy much higher resolution uh, some of us love, right? So we can go ahead and now play with these labs. You can see a ton of screen real estate is available. You can even launch familiar web browser, right? And everything is loading really well. As I said, there is still a lot of work remaining for us to do, but just wanted to show you a quick sneak preview of how all of this works. Okay, so now let's say you're doing this and you want access to another Kali system. Well, it's just as easy as going back, opening a new tab, and just starting uh, you know, another instance, that's it. So we have put in a lot of work to ensure that you know, all of this can automatically scale and we can accommodate hundreds of students. Uh, but you can clearly see the power which is going to be there in your hands. The best part is because you can access all of this pretty much without having to use you know, the whole painful VPN route, you can work on this even when you're at the office where you might not be allowed to expose your computer to an external VPN. And you can access multiple labs, literally kind of like just tap between them and work on this. So let me know what you think. Uh, once again, there's still a lot of work remaining from our side, but you are going to be seeing this go live later this month. Thank you.